Hey folks, welcome back to my Mountain Blade 2 Band of the Lord. This is part 26 of our God King campaign. Last we left off, we had just managed to take some more territory from the Southern Empire, and we have officially reunited the Asurian territories back with the Asurian people. They've all combined, and we're hoping to hand over Huss and Folk here real quick over to Guzid. And we're going to quickly make peace with the Southern Empires, now we have a good reason too. We're going to be receiving a lot of money from them. This is only going to make them want to go ahead and attack us more often for, or uh, going to attack us more frequently. Sorry, what am I saying? They're going to want to redeclare war on us to get rid of this, th th their debt to us. Because right now they're paying us now 1,100 dinars a day um, over, uh, distributed over their entire faction, their entire kingdom. But yeah, I'm really salivating right now. I don't know why I'm salivating so much. I got a disease. I'm diseased, folks. But yeah, so we're at peace right now, and this might be a good idea to start, you know, start finding some people. If we could find Desporion, start finding some people who we can pull over to our sides. And obviously, I was talking about taking Teradios, or talking to Teradios, and pulling him in. Because he would be a pretty decent guy to have on our side. And I wouldn't mind it all too much at all. But it's going to take us some time here. Now, we are currently at peace with everyone, so... Yeah, I, I can see no better way to do this. We'll be once again, Hudson Folk will now go to Guzid, which is perfect, exactly what we wanted. Um, and we can just go from there. Because, yeah, the entirety of the Asurai territory belongs to an Asurai clan. Um, and two clans have control over it. We have Mr. Ogmon to the west and Mr. Guzid to the east. And I love seeing that that, that split. It's almost a perfect uh, perfect split, too, in terms of the territories. They each have five cities, while Mr. Ogmon has, uh, what's the word... He's got five castles, while Guzid has only four castles. Did I just see Miron? Miron, Miron, Miron. That's right. We just took something from him. That is entirely right. I was wondering why that seems so familiar. His clan... This isn't Miron's clan. This clan actually isn't half bad now. Think about it. It's a pretty decent clan. Who owns Joron? That's right. Joron's a big player. If we can find Joron and actually pull him over to our side, I would be more than happy to do so. And frankly, it would put us in a pretty decent position. Um, at the moment, I think I'm actually going to be able to talk to Mr. Miron here. I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to let it play out real quick and hopefully just talk to him afterwards. Uh, set to one speed. There we go. I'm going to introduce ourselves. I don't know if he likes us because we did tactically take his stuff from him. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can do it. It doesn't really matter if I fail this, but there's something I'd like to discuss. I'm going to see if I can pull him. In Kurion. I thought it was in Kurion. I thought it was Miron who, uh, who, uh, managed that, that clan, that, uh, that clan. Interesting. Okay, so who are we looking for at Teradios? Hopefully we can go get to Teradios here. It'd be nice if we could find him and, uh, talk to him. I just don't know where exactly he is. Erinx, is he the leader? Isn't that... Oh, wait, that's the faction who used to own a, a, a Oristia, I'm pretty sure. Orstithia. Yeah, I think that is. So they, they've joined, joined the Western Empire as well. Okay, I don't know if he's the um, the clan leader, but it's worth uh, worth a find out regardless. Yeah, I did take Tama Castle. Thank you for noticing. I, I heard my word spreads fast in this area, despite the fact that I can never find you guys. So Amnon is the leader of his clan. So if you've ever seen Amnon, Amnon is worth uh, worth a talk. Oh, is that? I really hope uh, Teradios isn't in the army. He doesn't I don't think he is. It's not his army. Uh, I don't really know if we're going to get lucky with this. So he's here. So we can talk to him. This might be the best chance we have right now, folks. It's going to be a very good chance right here. So I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Let's talk to him. This could go wrong. I would like Teradius to join us. But then again, if it doesn't, we still have a lot more Imperial people who we can pull from. He's just an ideal individual to go ahead and talk to. So hello, you don't know me, but listen, pal. I don't know if it's trustworthy. You, I could, you could just betray me. In all honesty, you could. And I, I frankly don't know how I feel about it. But listen, what do you think of your leads? You know, I think, oh, this is already going to go so wrong. Okay, that's a critical fail. We've already fucked it up. <laughs> wow, he had no faith in us. Okay, well, this man does not like us. What was their relationship with him? Is it low? A zero. It's still really weird for it to be so low. Right, what if we just what if we just cause an unfortunate accident and kill him off real quick? Well, what's gonna happen there? Let's not do that. Okay, well I guess that didn't work out with him. That's that's unfortunate. So we can mark him off the list. We can always find someone else with at least a decently sized plan. How about the Albedios? He's only got no he's, he's definitely not. Alright, we're not even gonna touch him. He's 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 no hope. 
Cygnosis. Sign uh, he's a pretty good one. Got a lot of children. We can definitely pull him in. He, he's looking locked. Oh, we have no food. I'm not slaughtering my horses, am I? I hope I'm not. I don't. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not slaughtering my horses. Okay, we made it luckily before we um, <laughs> before we ran out of food again. I uh, completely forgot about the whole food part. I really hope we didn't slaughter any horses. I don't know if we actually had any. Uh, oh, we do have some hogs and cows that we can that we I think slaughtered. So that's that worked out at least. We're gonna go ahead and sell off a bunch of stuff here. Get ourselves some more money to go ahead and bar uh, bargain with. So sell off all that stuff. Uh, we might as well just take all these horses, just because I don't see a reason why we wouldn't. Uh, all these step horses will increase our party speed, so we'll go ahead and pick them up as well. And that's gonna make us a lot faster. I think we almost have, we have nearly two. Yeah, we have two thirds of our footmen on horseback. So we still need a good like couple hundred or another hundred more horses to really get that number all the way up to one. But for now, it's gonna be doing us at least a pretty big favor. It's really, uh, it's really uh, helping us with that. Um, just gonna buy all their fuck. They, they don't need their grain. Fuck it, we're buying their grain. Yeah, there we go. All their grain belongs to us. We're perfectly nice and fed enough. So unfortunately, Teradios didn't work out too well. Maybe I should wait in terms of trying to convince people to join us, just because I don't think we have really any relationship build with anyone. Yeah, another zero relationship with him. Hmm. Maybe I should wait because I don't really have a way to um. Don't really have a way to convince them. We should probably, yeah, we should probably wait a bit longer, but we don't want to wait though, do we, folks? Because if we go to war, we are going to have to just immediately find someone to transfer over territory to. So we might be a little, we might have our hands tied. We might just have to hope for the best and hope the numbers work out for us, because otherwise I don't know what we're going to do. And, so, and I'm going to wait for someone to clear war on us, to be honest. I think it's probably the best thing we can do. Um, we're looking for Serendon. Serendon's also another prospect that we can look for. Uh, is that Cygnosis? It is Cygnosis. So we see him. Let's go ahead and see if we can catch him. Where is he heading to? He's heading, it looks like he's heading to the city. So we have to ride around the forest, right around the river here. You would think they would just build a bridge, you know, like right here. I feel like that would increase travel time, cut travel down by a few hours so they don't have to walk around the, you know, walk around the river. All right, Cygnosis, so listen, buddy. Uh, I can't even read that because this is in the way. Default should, yes, do I know you? Default should not appear. <laughs> okay, game. All right. Listen, buddy. There's something I'd like to discuss. All right. How do you think about... I think... Okay. Okay. There we go. Better this time. I don't know why it didn't give me that chance, that that, 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 that opportunity the first time around. So 83%. We might have the first guy we can pull in. Uh, every 17. We'll take it. We will take it. So we managed to get Cygnosis over to our side. That's a very good start here. I'm not going to pull him in just yet, just because if I were to pull him in, let's just take a look at how much money it's going to take. I don't even have enough. He wants more than 1.4 million... I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I take Gnostica or take another Imperial castle. And frankly, I'll find him after that. And hopefully, hopefully we can go ahead and talk to him. So we have that done. At least we don't need to persuade him again. We just need some territory to go ahead and hand him over. So we might as well go ahead and see if we can find and talk to Serendon as well. We have no idea where exactly he is. And frankly, we might not find him for a while, but hopefully we can find Joron in the area. That might be another good thing we can do. It looks like the Kuzites are going, just, just going to town on the, um, oh, the Northern Empire. Yeah, they're taking yet another... They're taking Staraka, so they're taking a third seat. Really? Why is why is this clan messy? Huh. She has more territory than the, the ruler clan. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, I did not think that was would ever happen, really. Typically, the ruler clans will tend to have the most amount of territory. I mean, obviously, that's just demonstrated with Mr. Fucking Greedy Ass over here with his seven fucking cities i don't don't that still makes me mad seeing that i'm not even that faction anymore but it's just it, it annoys me um so let's go ahead and approach the gate and hail the guards i don't even know um if he's in here he is in here so we might as well talk to him take our shot see if we can hit the hit the target here listen pal how do you think of uh, the rugia listen you're good you're gonna go fall with me another 46 here this might be really good for us already folks Again, we don't. It doesn't matter if what faction they're part of. It all that matters is they're imperial. So we're gonna shoot our shot with that 17. Didn't hit it. Unfortunately, we're probably down to another 65% chance. Doesn't look like any of this is gonna matter. Oh, you hate to see that. 
an 11% chance the critical fail and we hit it. We had a 65% chance to even succeed. So unfortunately it looks like Serendon isn't gonna work out. So maybe Joran will do a bit better. Luckily we still already have one. And frankly, we only need two of them for the Southern Empire. So we still have some people to work with, but Joran is gonna be another important figure for us. Unfortunately, he's gonna be a little bit more expensive pullover because he does own two castles. He has a castle and a city. That's gonna be a little bit more dangerous. Um, but yeah, the Kuznets are actually still doing pretty strong. They might not be doing too well against the Southern Empire, but they're definitely doing well against the Northern, which is definitely their way of still coming back and winning this game. Um, is it Yannicka? How was this plan looking? I did not look at the plan. I No, stop, stop. Not a bad plan. So Saratis, also another good member we can be looking at. This is all owned by, we also have this clan down here, Temion's faction. Really only has three members, so not the best of uh, best of ones to look for. So maybe we will have to go find a Spore and pull his faction in, as, even though he owns that. We might have to take it from him and then go ahead and take a different territory and hand him that territory. That might be the way to do it. He might not like us for it, but if we can convince him to join us before um, we go ahead and take that territory from him, it might be the best move we have to do. So let's see if we can talk to Joran. He's last seen at Karenia Castle today, so he might still be in there. I don't know if he is. He could be wounded, he could not be wounded. I know a lot of the uh, Southern Empire men and uh, our nobles are wounded. So Joran is here. Let's see what we can do here. Hello, my friend. I don't know if you know me. I don't know why, no, he did, have I, I must have freed one of his people in the past. So I'm gonna see, hopefully I can convince him to join us. Oh, 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 did I? 93% chance and I fuck it up? Okay, critical, oh my God, the critical success at the end. Oof, oof, okay, all right, game. It can't be doing that to me. So yeah, he also, he owns two things. Gonna be really expensive to pull over. Not even close, not even halfway with 1.45 1.45 million uh, dinars. But yeah, that sucks for that. But you know what? At least we have them available. So we have two very, very prominent factions or um, clans who we can pull over. A lot of children in those factions who eventually will grow up in the long term, help us out. Um, obviously, Mr. Uh, Joran's faction is a bit stronger. Uh, or I guess has more people to work with than uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sikonis. But we're going to see if we can go convince Desporion now. Because convincing Desporion gives us three good people to work with. And frankly, he's going to make us have to divide the land up a bit more. Which don't really want to do with the Imperial territory. Because they only have one extra city. But we'll always at least find them. Uh, or take care of things down the line. I actually don't even know how many Imperial cities are there in total. <laughs> Excuse me, I want to really... If I think... I can just do some basic math, so let's just count up the normal stuff, because I think they all have the same amount. Oh, they start with the same amount normally. So we have, what, five here from the Western Empire, so it's six there we have. I guess they do technically start with more here. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess the, I guess the Southern Empire does start with more. Am I going crazy? No, Zionica used to belong to the Western Empire. Okay. So the Western Empire had seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven? I'm going crazy. I can't really do the math. I'm not going to do it. I, I just, that's, we can wait on that. We'll figure that out later. I'll, I'll do the math off camera and I'll, or something like that. I have no idea. Um, let's see. We might as well go say hi to Mr. Despor and hopefully he's within his territory. He's within his city. I don't know where he's last been seen. Last seen at Munok, Munokoi. Munokoi. I probably just butchered that. Munokoi. Where is Munokoi? Hmm? Where is that? I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so it looks like he's. He's moving about. We don't know exactly where he's going to be. He could be in a city. He could be in a city. He could not. He could be out recruiting individuals. Uh, there's Foster. Okay, so there's this foreign. There's the man of the hour. Let's see if we can go talk to him. If this doesn't go well, no harm, uh, no foul. We've already managed to pull two people in from the Northern Empire, or the Southern Empire, who's willing to fight with us if we just give them the right proper stuff. Doesn't mean they're going to stay loyal to us. So maybe I should go ahead and pull them in. I really actually should hope that works out because at least there's an opportunity to pull someone else in who might be more loyal and can be trusted with the territory that uh, the others might not be um, so trustworthy with. But let's see, hopefully this goes well. I might get screwed. Uh, what's our, before I do that, let's check our relationship with them. Relationship of zero, so that's not good. What was our relationship with Mr. Uh, Mr. Joron, 26? Maybe I should wait. If I, if I do wait and I manage to fight him or fight one of his members, that would allow me to increase the relationship after letting him go and probably give me a higher chance. So it might be the move to wait on this. Hmm. I don't know, folks. Do I want to wait? Am I patient? Do I have any patience? I don't think I've talked to Oros. Oros is obviously, he's not the, he's not the most, uh, he's not the best bet. 
I guess, she, did she die in childbirth? She died of natural causes at the age of 54, so she was pretty old. Okay. Um, hmm. They don't have any children. I guess they do have children. They're vassals. I'm confused. Oh, was that his wife? I think that was his wife. That was why. That was his ex-spouse, yeah. So he does have children. Hmm. It's unfortunate. He's, he also is not... He's not very generous. He's close-fisted. Hmm. I don't know. We're not left with a whole lot of options. Again, we still do have Tenemon down here. No, wait, no, not Tenemon. Uh, we have Star Artist that we're probably going to go ahead and try to talk to. He'll be the last bet if this doesn't work out. Screw it, we might, you know, I'm going to take my chances. You know, I'm going to do it. This is for him, buddy. Um, I, I listen, pal. Uh, you know Ms. Gallon? I'm going to be polite. I'm going to ask him his name. Uh, the House of London. That's a fantastic name, pal. You are Lord of Xanadu. Listen, listen, Mr. N Desporian, I've heard a lot about you, my friend. I heard how you came from the Western Empire. The uh, Batanians came, and then they just... You, you fought bravely against them. You know, I got I got I got I got sugarcoat it, folks. I got I got to warm up to them a little bit. Use that use that God King charm. All right, listen, pal. I need. I, I hear you. Uh, actually. Oh. Oof. You know, I think he wanted me to train some troops. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work out. Um. Hmm. There might be another way. Listen, pal. There's something I would like to discuss. What if I gave you some money what if i give you like 100k how's that how much is that going to help a relationship all right let's just let's just toss around let's just toss him some money 19 we'll take it you know we'll take it it might help a little bit um all right pal i would how, how do you think of regia you know i know you joined her she's in, she's the queen right the center empire is doing pretty well i've already i've already managed to finish drawn it's a cadis to join me i they, they haven't joined the faction yet but they're willing to if i provide them with the right materials and the right goods and I'm thinking you're going to be another great addition. So, listen, I'm the rightful rule of this land, and I would like your support. I sound like a politician right now. 72% chance you know me as man of honor. You may also... You may, you are known as a man of honor. Damn right you are. The spawn, they know you all across the land, baby. And you may know me as one as well. i got to get that charm going. 72% critical success. Mm, perfect. Perfect. If she has ever violated her oath, you haven't been there for very long, right? It absolves you of her duty to her. But you know very well political oaths are easily made and just as easily broken. I could go with that. But I feel like that might hit him to become a traitor. So I'm going to hit him with that more. Fuck, that was ineffective. Okay. Put your interest in the good of the realm first. Exactly. Put your interest in the good of the realm first. Per you, you, you're, listen, you understand this point. The good of Calradia comes first. But I need you. All right, I have a strategy to win, and my strategy is always work eventually. That doesn't, see, that seems like I'm losing, all right? And believe me, this, this is true. This is true of my character. I am generous to those who come to me early, all right? But perhaps it's not as generous to those who come late. Exactly that, Desporian. Join me now. Let me, join me right now. I need to feel it. I need to feel it. I'm going to close my... Yes, Desporian. Yes. Yes. That's how I would like to see. All right, perfect. Okay. Okay, Desporion. We've we've done it. We we could even pull him in right now if we wanted to. Actually he's You own a city. Why is he why are you so cheap? Okay, well Alright. We have that opportunity. We could pull him in right now. I don't think I'm going to because I don't see a reason to. So we're gonna wait till we're at war, because that way I, I the reason why I'm gonna wait till we're at war is I don't want him I don't want him to have Xanadu. But then again, if I do take that from him, it kind of screws me over. But I don't want him to have it, because he doesn't, he's not the proper person to have it. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that works out with this Florian. But the frankly, there is one more person I want to go talk to, so luckily that opportunity is on the table. We have three people we can pull from now. Sakanis, Joran, and Esporion. But let's see if we can get the Ceratis. Mr. Ceratis is the other individual I think is going to go ahead if we can pull them in, we have four wonderful prospects to join our empire, our, our wonderful kingdom, the God King State, as I should call it. And then it's gonna, it's, it'll be a lot better than that. How are we doing time wise? I feel like that we got about like 11 minutes left in this video, folks. I know not much action has happened. Again, no one's really declared war on this, but luckily that's actually given me a lot of time. I'm kind of glad this has happened because it's given me a lot of time to work with, actually. Um, how is the garrison looking at you over there? I can't tell because I'm looking at a party. Not bad. Okay, it's already getting pretty pretty tanky. 115 units there. Not bad garrisons. They won't really hold against a large army that the uh, Southern Empire can for. Why is this army moving like it's so slow? Do they have no horses? 
What's going on here? They are literally so slow. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna haul ass over here. Hopefully gonna find Mr. Ceratus. Uh, last seen at Necrocroix. Necrocroix, that is that is a, if I remember that correctly, that is a, um, that is a, yeah, village. There it is. Uh, hopefully he's in the area. That's the hope, that's what I'm hoping for. It looks like he is on the move. He looks like he's healthy. And I'm just hoping we can get to him before we, um, yeah. What? Looters? What? How did an army just get taken prisoner by looters? Batanians. <laughs> I am very confused. Very, very confused. And I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> what I've just watched is something I hope I never see again. Because it... It's disappointing. Alright, Mr. Ceratis, listen pal. Another important thing, alright? I gotta talk to you real quick. I'm gonna give you some money, alright? I know you don't know me. We've got zero relationship. Hold on, may I ask your name? I gotta be nice and courteous, alright? I'm gonna go with, the, go with a bit of a mob boss here, a little bit of mafia. All right, this is highly insensitive to a lot of coaches, but I gotta do it for that content. All right, hold on. First of all, first of all, my friend, I have, I have a, I would like to, I'd like to propose you something. I'd like to give you some money, so you think more likely, you think more highly of me. So I have a proposal that may benefit us both. I get nothing out of this other than your admiration and like, respect. I'll give you a hundred thousand coin. I got some of you. Nineteen. We'll take it. All right, now listen. I would like. What do you think of Regia? You haven't been here for that long. I know. I'm saying I'm the right for rulers. 72%. You know me as a man of honor. Perfect. 83. If she's ever violated her oath to you, it absolves you of your duty to her. You know, 83. Perfect. Okay, come on now. You're very close. Put your interests in the good of the... Didn't even need the fourth question. Didn't even need that fourth convincing point. It is a dangerous step. You're absolutely right. Now, hold on a second. See, it takes too much money. We'll come back for you later. Don't you worry. We'll have something to trade you for. But now I gotta think. I gotta think ahead, folks. I gotta think of what I'm gonna do. All right, because I'm gonna. I'm on a bit of a pickle here. So we've got four very influential individuals that we can help with now. But I frankly only want to handle this territory with just two of them, because it's not a lot of cities. All right, this belongs to the Western Empire. So I'm, we're gonna. We're gonna. Not, we're never gonna attack Zionica. That's not the plan. But I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna wait. To attack Xanadu. I'm sure one of our armies will eventually attack Xanadu and take the Sporia. But what I'm thinking is we we handle we had uh, we give Mr. Jaron here. We give him pretty much this entire territory down here. We give Jaron the west of this river, the, the, the east of this river, right? And then we give Mr. Uh, we give Mr. Feisty on here. We give him this territory. We give him all this, all of this territory. I think that works out, right? I think that's good. Everything w uh, west of the river, safe for, uh, safe for Zianica. And then we hold Zianica. We, we, we wait on this. We're going to convince them to join. Once we go to war with the Tannians, then we're going to talk to them, get them over on our side. It'll be perfect. We're going to make it work, folks. I have a plan, and my plans always work. I have worked this out in my head like a genius. So now what do we do, folks? Well, now, this is what we have. I think this is what we have to dissolve the Southern Empire. This is where the Southern Empire needs to be taken care of. Because we have all the chess pieces in place. But we have not to... We, we just need to move the pieces. No, for, no, we, have them, we have them all right in, right, in, right in place to make the next move. To checkmate Mr. The, the Southern Empire. And so it would be foolish of us to give the Southern Empire a chance to, to, to move the pieces into a place where we can't checkmate them anymore. So frankly, we just have to, we just have to take advantage of a situation that's already in our favor. So let's start. All right, let's start with what we can do. Why are they all just sitting at Hassan Folk? What's going on at Hassan Folk? You know what? Let's 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 let the let's let the Southern Empire know we're here. Let's let's see if they can go compete in a tournament real quick. Cause we gotta start with the South, obviously, right? We're gonna start with the South, Mister. We're gonna we're gonna convince him. I wanna take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with Dynastica. Then we're gonna take Adrissa. 
Then we're going to take Honora. And then we're going to hand it over to Joran. We're going to find Joran. We're going to hand it over to him. But for now, that's going to have to wait, folks. Let's go to the arena. Let's, let's, let's celebrate our plotting. Because everything is coming together. I've, I've spent 20 plus minutes now convincing people to join me. But don't you worry, folks. Don't you worry one bit. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be mwah, fantastic. We're going to see this little empire get crippled from the inside. I'm Come here. I want to be as fast as a horse. Are you okay? Buddy? That looked like it hurt. Are you okay? Did you guys just... What just happened to you? Horse? It was just, it was just a tournament. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Why they... They never stood a chance. They got murdered. They got murked. All right, buddy. Listen, Batanian female ranger. Let me get that. Let me get that 360 on you. I gotta get that jump 360. Hold on, I gotta get that behind the back. Uh, I'm gonna get it, folks. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, get that turnaround swing. It's perfect. They never can stop it. I swing too fast for their own good. All right, we gotta skip this round. We've already done it. Me versus the tribal warrior. Listen, buddy. Come here. I'm gonna hit you with that 360. Stabbed to the fucking chest. That was a I fuck. I can't never do anything right. Even the God King makes mistakes, folks. Even he makes mistakes. I have to shit. Ugh, it's unbelievable. All right, maybe this time I can get that 360 stab. That's a goal. 360 stab, baby. I missed. Fuck it. Hold on. Let's get that. Let's get that turnaround swing. Then I fucked that up too. I gotta do something interesting. What if I just? What if I just? I, hold on. Let's just. chamber oh i fucked that up I, I i don't know how chambering works in this game yet and i feel like tournaments are probably the best way to figure it out actually yeah i'm gonna i'm probably gonna do a, i'm gonna do one of those practice fights i want to chamber something I, I i've never really chambered intentionally i've only ever chambered accidentally and obviously it's gonna be a little bit hard but i would like to um Okay, let's enter the arena. I guess I have to talk to the guy before I can practice fight. Listen, pal, I'm Joran. Listen, I've heard of these games. Um, I just want to practice fight. Uh, there we go. Yeah, sure. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. All right, uh, I can't chamber with this. I need to find a weapon that I can chamber with. Let's, uh, this will do. There we go. Okay. I want to chamber. I, again, never chambered intentionally. I would love to. But we just make things a little bit interesting. So this is like a little way. Out of my way. Hold on. No, I didn't make that work. Okay. How do you change? I gotta look it up. Listen, hold on. Let's just hit him with that. Oof, never stood a chance. Wait, how fast that? I have literally pinpoint accuracy with this. I, I mean, well, obviously, there's. It, it depends if I actually hit stuff. But um, hold on. Let me. Let me chamber you. Oh, I need some. I need to fill my javelins up. Let me get these back real quick. Yeah. All right. There we go. That's a, that's a imperial spear. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna be able to chamber successfully. I really wanted to figure that out. Am I in commoners' clothing? I'm in some commoners stuff. But then again, it... oh my god, that man. Who who is that? Batanian female ranger? Why are you participating? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so. Would you? Who are you? You monster, how did you survive with that? Give me your stuff. Give me your shit. Ow. Stop poking me. Stop fucking poking me, asshole. Did you just throw shit at me? You just throwing shit at me? I mean, thank you. I need some more javelins, actually. So, I mean, you're just doing me a favor, actually. Now that I think about it. Well, let's just... Okay, well, I can't chamber... I figured that out. You son of a bitch. That hurt. That shit hurted. Never... Oh, right in the neck. That's what you get. Ow, motherfucker. Relax, bro. Relax. Jeez, calm, just calm yourself. I need some more javelins. Who's throwing shit at me again? Fuck you. Stop. Fuck you. Oh, that headshot was beautiful. Hold on. Who are you, huh? You got a bow? Fuck you. Give me that shit. I need more no, no javelins. Hold on. Should I use a bow? Nah, I don't need a bow. Uh, that's for that's for losers. Who uses bows? No one. No one uses bows. I definitely didn't use a bow in my last play. Through back of the neck. Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Relax here a second. I missed. Unbelievable. Hold on. 
Fuck you. I want the kill. Shoot me, I dare you. I'll block this shit. I'll block this shit. I'll, I'll fucking block it. You can't even hit me. Can't. Calm yourself. That was loud. That was so loud. Okay. Alright, well. We, we won 250 gold. I was just, I only did that for the fact of trying to see if I could actually chamber. Sorry for the lack of uh, inventfulness in this uh, in this episode, folks, but we definitely did get some useful stuff done. And convincing four lords to join us when the time is right is going to really come out and help us later down the line. And frankly, this is some time of hunting them down and trying to convince them during the war. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, I, the, the pieces are in place. We just have to make sure to move them when the time is right, folks. So, yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you saw. I know not the most eventful. Again, once again, sorry for that. But next episode, hopefully, we're going to go into back to war with the Southern Empire and really just driving it home to solidify our control over this area of Calradia. But yeah, other than that, I have nothing else for this video, folks. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more in the future, you know what to do. This has been John McQuills, and I'll see you folks in the next one.